everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. But if you are new here, my name is Helen and today I'm going to take you through a yoga flow for basketball players. So it's going to be a lot of stretching, a little bit of strength and some balance in there as well. And we're going to start in a toe stretch. So we're going to start at the bottom and then like work our way up. So come to a kneeling position. And if you have sensitive knees, you can always double up your mat or grab a blanket or something to prop yourself up a little bit more. Otherwise, tuck your toes and then resting your sitting bones back towards your heels and pushing back here so you're getting a stretch through the soles of the feet. Now, this is option one, but if you feel like you'd like to intensify and it's not going to cause you any pain at all, walking the hands back up onto the thighs and then you're going to relax the weight of your body into your feet here. So we're really stretching out the soles of the feet, which is a great place to start. And it's really going to help us when we move into stretches further up the body as well. So give yourself a moment to like <laughs> settle into the shape. Maybe close off your eyes. Smooth breath in through the nose. And sigh out. Relax the jaw, the shoulders. Relax down through the hands and the hips. Notice if anywhere wants to grip or kind of clench. And see if you can use your exhales to like settle into the shape and settle into the intensity of it. Wonderful, let's take one more breath here. Nice big sigh out. <sighs> Good, blinking the eyes open. Let's bring our hands out in front and come to an all fours position. Give your toes a tap out if they need it after that. Maybe a few little rolls out of your ankles as well. Lovely, let's come to a calf stretch. So you're gonna extend your left leg back so the toes are on the mat and then pushing back through that heel. Keep the leg really straight options here to stay up onto the hands but if you have sensitive wrists or anything you can come onto forearms and you find you can like just press back a little bit more but totally up to you so keep that leg really straight and imagine like energy and breath going all the way down and out through that left heel good and then switching it on over so left knee in right leg extends pushing through that heel Really keep that leg straight and strong. You find you get a little bit more out of it as we work into that calf. Lovely, good. And then bringing that knee back in. Tuck the toes, spread your fingers nice and wide. We're coming into a downward dog or a upside down V shape. So lifting your sitting bones back and up into our downward facing dog. Nice, so take a moment to like pedal through your feet. So bend into one knee deeply as the other straightens. How does that feel in your hamstring, the back of the leg, and the opposite side. It's almost like the back of the legs are just taking like a really big yawn. And you can alternate a few times and just kind of feel into it. Keep your head nice and relaxed so your head can just kind of hang in space. Wonderful. Good, and then come back to even an even place. So feet are about hip width apart. As you inhale, come up super high onto your tiptoes, suck your tummy up. And as you exhale, press down through your heels. Two more like that, inhale, come up super high. Exhale, pressing down, feeling that stretch down the back of the legs. Wonderful, one more breathing in, come up high. Exhale, press those heels down, wonderful. Inhale, float your left leg high into the sky. And as you exhale, step it in between your hands. So you can always use a hand to get it there or however you need to get there. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe, and then bring your hands up onto this front knee. Lovely, take a breath in, proud chest. And then as you exhale, see if you can sink down into your right hip flexor. So if this doesn't feel nice on your lower back, you can always come up a little bit and take away some intensity. Otherwise, imagine your pelvis really heavy and the focus is the front of this hip. 
nice. Notice if the rest of the body kind of uh, begins to tense up. So relax the shoulders, relax the face. Lovely. Take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to frame that front foot. Tuck your back toes, lift that back knee so that back leg is straight and strong. Take a little rock forwards and back, almost like a runner's starting position. Lovely, good. And then you're gonna bring both hands on the inside of that left foot. Spin on the back foot, so now you're on the heel and you're in this ninja squat, getting into the groin. So press down through this heel and do not worry if you can't get that heel fully down, that's totally fine. Focus is getting in towards the, this uh, groin area. So toes are lifted. And you can have a little bit of a movement, sometimes moving forwards and back, you kind of find a different kind of intensity. Nice, but always move with like kindness towards yourself. We're not punishing our body, we're, we're doing a good thing. <laughs> Lovely, take a nice big breath. And then as you exhale, walk your hands round, spin on your back toes, plant those hands down. You're gonna step back to your downward facing dog. So suck up through the tummy, step it back, downward facing dog, lovely. Just take a moment to acknowledge if the sides feel a little different. And then we're gonna do the opposite side. So inhale, right leg lifts high into the sky. And then as you exhale, step it in between the hands with control. Drop the back knee, untuck the toe, and then hands come up onto that thigh for support, breathe in. And then as you exhale, finding a good amount of intensity for the front of your left hip this time. So maybe you might notice that uh, the sides are very different, that's very normal. So don't feel like you have to force your body into doing exactly the same thing on each side. Just be kind to yourself, listen to it. And I find it quite helpful to think about your pelvis. It's a very big, heavy bone or a uh, couple of bones. And see if you can like sink down into it. So imagine like your pelvis is heavy, like the weight of gravity is helping you open up through the front of that left hip. Lovely, breath in. Exhale, hands frame the front foot, tuck the back toes, lifting that back knee, come into this little runner's position. So little forwards and back, little forwards and back. And then hands come to the inside of your front foot, spin on your back toes, coming into a ninja squat. So this is the, the view from behind. So those toes are definitely lifted and flexed towards the ceiling. Pressing down through this heel as much as you can. And then find your own intensity. So you might need to have a little bit of an exploration, maybe a lean forwards, a lean back to the side. And you're aiming to get into this groin area on your back leg. Lovely. And any of these poses, if there's some that are like really helping you, you can always, of course, hold them for longer, pause the video. Take a nice big breath. As you exhale, walk your hands round to frame that front foot, spin on your back toes, step it back to a downward facing dog, pressing back through the heels, wonderful. So bending the knees, you're gonna begin to walk the feet towards your hands. So come into the top edge of your mat. When you eventually get to your hands, bring your feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and then bend your knees so your belly can like rest onto your thighs. Let your head go, and then interlace the fingers behind you, squeeze the palms together, and just let the fist fall overhead. Lovely. So a little softness through the knees. So not so much about the hamstrings, just allowing that spine to let go, allowing the shoulders to open up. And see if you can just ask yourself if your head is fully letting go here. So maybe give it a little nod, yes, yes, yes. A little shake out, no. Hmm. Wonderful, breathing in. And as you exhale, bring your hands down towards your toes, bend the knees, and then soften the knees even more and slowly roll up through your spine. So stacking one little vertebrae on top of the next, picking yourself up into standing, wonderful. We're gonna do a little bit of balancing here. So fan out your toes, really like establish yourself on your feet. 
inhale, reaching your hand up and overhead and then bring your right knee in towards the chest. Nice, relax the shoulders away from the ears and really establish yourself on your standing leg. Breathe in. And as you exhale, we're gonna fly the arms back, fly that right leg back into what we call warrior three. Keeping the shoulder blades squeezing together so the heart is lifted and open. And fix your focus. See how your left ankle is like making all these tiny little adjustments to keep you upright. Wonderful, back the way you came, super, super slow. Inhale, hands up towards the sky, right knee in towards the chest. And as you exhale, hands come down, foot comes down. Let's do it on the left. Inhale, arms reach high, left knee to chest. Good, relax the shoulders, zip up through the belly. Nice, if you can still your eye line as well, notice if uh, your eyes are moving around. See if you can fix your focus, it will help you with balance. Good, and then finding that warrior three or aeroplane breathing. Exhale, reaching the fingertips back, reaching that back foot back. Nice, squeezing the shoulder blades together, making sure your heart is lifted. Wonderful, good. Don't worry if you fall out of it, just hop right back in. Embrace the wobbles. Good, back the way you came. Inhale, arms up and overhead, left knee into the chest. And as you exhale, hands come down, left foot comes down. Wonderful. Let's take our stance really wide on our mat now. So ideally wrists over ankles or roughly. Have your big toes pointing out for this first one. And then inhale, reach the hands up. Interlace your fingers. You're gonna bring them to the back of your head, like so, and then just bring them away from your head. Just begin to kind of move with circles with the hands. So it might feel kind of awkward in the shoulders. That's totally normal. But they just might begin to free up a little bit. Lovely, and then circling the opposite way. Maybe you start, they start to get a little bigger. Lovely, good. Take a nice big breath. As you exhale, bend into your knees. Your hands are gonna come down to your knees and now you're gonna rest the weight of your body into your hands. So your upper body is like fully in your hands. Breathe in. And as you exhale, drop one shoulder to the center and look behind you. So this arm is straight. It's almost like prizing open your groin a little bit as well. Getting a nice twist through the middle back. Wonderful, inhale through center. And then let's drop that opposite shoulder, looking all the way behind, wringing out the spine. Lovely, inhale through center. And then straighten up the legs. You're gonna turn your toes in and your heels ever so slightly out. Hands to hips, breathe in, look up. And then as you exhale, folding here. So hands come down. To the floor, bend the knees if you need to, that's totally allowed. Good, and then let your head go. Good, breathing in, lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, can you fold a little deeper? Maybe shifting the weight into the toes just a touch to lift your kneecaps, engage your quads, open up through the back of the legs. Wonderful, inhale, coming up halfway onto your fingertips now. As you exhale, heel toe your feet a bit closer together, so a bit wider than hip width, and then dropping your sitting bones down between your heels, coming into a yogi squat. So your hands can stay on the floor, that is totally allowed. If your heels are hovering up like this, this is totally allowed, just keep pressing down through the heels, so you wanna find that flexion through your ankle. And you can always prop up your heels with a blanket or something if it is like a little more comfortable for yourself. So hands can stay here or hands to heart center and see if you can press into your inner knee and prise open those hips. This is really nice for releasing the lower back as well. Take a nice big breath. And as you exhale, bring those hands behind, come down, take a little seat. So. Lengthen out both legs 
and we're going to do a bit for our glute and like IT band area. So you're going to bend your right knee and you're going to cross your right ankle over your left knee or the top of the left knee like so. Keep this foot flexed, this is going to look after your knee. Proud chest, lift the heart. Options, bending into that left knee so the foot is now flat. And for some of us, we immediately start to feel it here and that might be enough for some of us. Otherwise, if you wanna go a little bit further, scoot your bum towards that heel, proud chest, and the focus is right glute, right side of the hip. The key with this one is to keep your chest nice and proud. As soon as you start to do this, you really start to lose it. So imagine there's a puppet string on your heart reaching up towards the sky. Good, dropping your right knee forwards. And again, keeping the upper body as relaxed as you can. Good, one more breath. And as you exhale, release. So maybe scooting the bum back or sliding the foot forwards. And let's do the same on the opposite side. So left ankle comes across, foot is flexed, hands behind. Right foot flat, maybe we hold it here. Maybe we find our own intensity when we come forwards. If you come forwards and it's too much, you can always come back. Like, don't feel like you have to stay there. Take a moment to really like, feel how it feels on this side. Dropping that left knee forwards. Wonderful. And if you are coming up against a lot of resistance or tightness, see if you can send big breaths there and exhales to help release the space. Lovely. One more breath. And as you exhale, release. So either sliding that right foot forwards or scooting the bum back. Nice. Lengthen out both legs. Give them a little bit of a shake. Wonderful. Let's come down onto our back. So bend your knees, come on down to the back. And you want to be able to brush your heel with your middle finger. That's kind of optimal. Good. As you inhale, press into hands, press into feet, lift the bum, lift the chest. Option to stay here. Or if you can interlace your fingers, great. And then nudge your shoulders back underneath you one at a time. So you come up a little bit higher. Good. Really dig down through your heel bone to open up through the front of the thigh, the front of the hip, the stomach, and the chest. Take one more breath in here. And as you exhale, release the hands, come on down, awesome. Hug the knees in towards your chest, give yourself a little squeeze here. And then taking the arms out into a cactus shape, just allow the shoulders to really rest back, relax, relax your hands, take a breath. And then as you exhale, allow both knees to drop to the right hand side. So don't worry if they land kind of like messily, they just don't wanna be hovering in space. See if you can just let them like fall over to the right, twisting through the middle back, even the side of that hip for some of us, we feel it a lot as well. Wonderful, inhale, come back through center. And let the knees drop over to the opposite side. Just give yourself a moment to like trust in gravity to pull you into place. Shoulders remain nice and relaxed on the mat. Inhale, bringing the knees through center. So you're so welcome to stay here lying on your back and maybe pop on a guided meditation or shavasana. Otherwise, if you're ready to finish, rock and roll up to seated. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I really hope you found some stretches that were helpful to you. If you did, make sure you give it a little thumbs up, share with any basketball players that you might know of. I hope you have a lovely day wherever you are and I shall see you on the next one. Bye.